Welcome to Vintage Coin Op Restorations and one of our latest projects. Here we have Ask the Swami. These were uh, tabletop um, uh, trade stimulators uh, that were in diners and basically a napkin holder. And for one penny, you can get your question answered yes or no. Um, these are a stack of original cards here. Um, this one is one of mine uh, where we put a base on it and we had this thing completely chrome plated so it looks better than new. But with these great little machines, uh, there are a lot of headaches. Uh, there's a lot of them out there. Um, they're not super rare. Um, they're rare to find them working. Uh, and the only reason they're working is because somebody tried to, had to fix them. None of these would be working uh, if you found one even in brand new in a box. Um, basically how they worked were um, you have your fortune. Here there's one that's undone. And you can see that at one time there was a, a uh, piece of rubber or a rubber band that wrapped around here. And that, with this pressure up on the fortune, it slid out every time you put a penny in. And um, here is a piece of rubber that we use, um, and we clamp it on to this um, lever. And that usually solves the problem of it sliding out. However, that's not the only problem with these machines. Um, as you can see how they made them, they are very uh, sharp cornered here. And if you look at the a modern penny, you could definitely see how tight that edge is that little edge sometimes is nothing but a pain and it locks up inside here and it'll it'll just get lodged in the corner somewhere um, it happens all the time and if it does you need to take your machine take it out uh, take a toothpick or something and just kind of slide it out back and start over again um, not a big problem but from time to time it happens. So um, when these were made, the, the penny being used was the, uh, the wheat penny. Wheat penny didn't have those heavy edges on there, so it just pretty much slid in there every single time. Uh, and that's very common with the arcade machines I do. Um, the buffalo nickel. I use buffalo nickels in all my machines. I don't even bother trying to put a modern nickel inside because it seemed to always get hung up. So. So you got your, your rubber band issue that has to be on and fresh. Um, uh, yeah, it has to be a, a nice clean rubber band. Over time it gets a little dirty, go back inside your machine, clean it off, make sure the residue is off so it'll be sticky again and push out uh, the, the fortune. Your pennies, if you have them, use the wheat pennies. Um, we had this one come in, this is uh, Megan's machine. And uh, what we did is, as you can see here, this one is uh, left original, but over here on this side, on Megan's, I actually kind of widened it, widened it a little bit so you know we can get a, a regular penny in there. Did it solve the problem 100%? Probably not, but it definitely uh, made, it, made the penny slide down more easily. Um, another key thing that is usually missing <laughs> for whatever reason are these weights. Uh, you got one on the bottom, which is a flat weight. Then you have the second one, which is curved. And then you have this third one that um, says, do not press down. And that's exactly what you shouldn't do. Do not press down on it. You just kind of let it go in there and drop. And as your fortunes are dispensed, this slides down very slightly. Uh, what it's doing is as uh, you push your, put your penny in, this little rubber band here at the bottom is pushing up. It's pushing up on the fortune. Okay, so that's another problem that a lot of people don't have so sometimes we have to make them but uh, this one had them in there um and the other thing is like this one was all gummed up on the left and right side of the slide uh they put grease in there and it just gets solidified so it, they don't move at all so we had a detail clean that all out it just put some oil on there so um every so often you know if it seems to be an issue a little three-in-one oil will be perfect uh, on these inside edges and not just in the edge but you gotta kind of put it on its back and let it drip and fall all the way back inside there. Um, another problem that people have is over the years, people get in here and they're like, oh, this may be a spring broke, and they just put any kind of spring in there. Well, just any kind of spring won't work. You need the right tension. 
So in this case with Megan's machine, I actually had to change the springs. And uh, you know what? These will work fine for uh, what we needed to do. That is the tension. And um, I'm thinking, what else do we have problems with? Um, this is the, probably the most important out of all of them is if you look at this stack I have in here, zoom in on that, see how perfect they lay? They're all on the right side up and they're all nice and smooth and they're not, um, not irregular. Uh, what do I mean by irregular? Well, this is what came in the machine. This is, uh, Megan, this is your pile that, of uh, fortunes I got and look how they all are. Upside down, left and right, uh, they are original. And you can see every so often, there's like maybe 10 or 12 of them in a row that are nice. So as you need them, I would pull them out in small amounts and put them in your machine. Um, every so often you see these on eBay, somebody's selling some new old stock. And uh, if you see them, you're, you know, it's good to buy them. It's good to have them. Uh, right now I put about, there's gotta be a hundred if not more inside there right now. And it's all you need is about an inch of them. Uh, I wouldn't go and fill this up to the top. Uh, it always it just adds all kinds of problems. There's, it's too much, uh, and the tension of this uh, little finger uh, seems to work really nice. I usually have no problems with about an inch, inch and a half, but I never fill them to the top because I've never had uh, good luck with that. So how does, it, how does this machine actually work? So as you put your penny in, falls into this slot and as I push down you'll see it pushes it forward and kind of kicks it up and again the penny just drops to the bottom it just and that's exactly what happens here the machine itself just sits inside there are no screws holding this mechanism in I'll put it right inside this one here if I could do it with one hand there we go so Pretty easy, slides right in, right in place. So when you do need to clean a rubber band or take your, uh, what else can I think of? Put fortunes if you can't reach inside there, um, it easily comes out. But um, like I said, most important is you need to have the right fortunes and they have to be nice and orderly like that. Um, otherwise, um, it just doesn't seem to work correctly. And the last thing that we have is the door. This little door uh, is a pain in the rear end for a lot of people. Sometimes you'll see that little clip on the top there, how it's bent. It has either over the years been bent so much that uh, it doesn't exist anymore. It's completely broken off. And if that's your problem, uh, you definitely have a problem because um, it's crucial. It locks the whole machine in place. As you can see, it has to hook to the top of that piece, come down and this little sweep lock has to lock on the bottom. Um, in this case, we are going to put our penny in Megan's here, and you'll see it actually do its operation. And it's gonna just pull out our fortunes, okay? And I didn't ask myself a question, so I have no idea what it is, but it says everything looks affordable, favorable to me. I guess I need my glasses. But basically, that's what it does, uh, really neat. And it's supposed to pop it through that little window. And that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna put my phone down for a second while I lock this um, while I lock this thing in place, okay? And we'll see if we can get it to work correctly. Give me one second. So I'm putting the door back on. Let's get it in place. We have it you can see around the back our little clip is inside our door is nice and snug it's locked in the lock position put our penny inside let's see if we get a fortune there you have it every so often you might get one or two of them kind of a common problem but uh, nothing you can really do here we do it again this time it gives us one but uh, very neat little machine. Uh, the answer to your question was, whoa, Nelly, yes, definitely. <laughs> there you have it. If you have one of these machines for sale or you need one restored, give us a call. We're located in Chicago, Illinois, 
Our phone number is area code 630-624-7466. Thanks for watching.